Moving from an executive role in aviation to the dairy sector is not a common path to tread, nor combining that transition with a high-profile role in tennis. Jane Hurdlicka, the new president of Tennis Australia and incoming chief executive of A2 Milk, says there are obvious parallels between those roles and the ones she is vacating at Contis, having been CEO at Jetstar for five years before a short stint as boss of the group's frequent flyer division. Tennis Australia is in robust financial health, with hundreds of thousands of fans flocking to the Australian Open and the organisation set to announce on Saturday a five-year extension to its major sponsorship with Korean car maker Kia for more than $16 million annually through to 2023 – the biggest in Australian sporting history. Lika was appointed as president of Tennis Australia last October and less than two months later was announced as the next A2 Milk chief executive. She grew up playing tennis in Kansas with her family, her 85-year-old father still plays, and is now a member of three Melbourne tennis clubs where her children play competitively. Going from aviation to dairy is not an obvious transition, but it is actually a pretty logical one when you step back from it. Ms. Hurlicka explains. I've spent the last six years in a very disruptive segment of aviation, taking a business that had grown like crazy and taking it to another level in terms of its infrastructure and capability and doing that through a very clear lens on Asia and building our position in the region. The Asia story will clearly drive HU's future, with China being a huge market in particular for a company selling infant formula and milk, as it is for tennis with the Open enjoying its status as the Grand Slam of Asia-Pacific and the emergence of men's semi-finalist, Korean Chung Hyun. Qantas announced a succession plan on Wednesday that will smooth Ms. Hurdlicka's departure by March, with Chief Customer Officer Olivia Wirth assuming responsibility for Qantas loyalty and Senior Sales Executive Vanessa Hudson taking Ms. Wirth's role. I'm delighted because you've got two amazing women that are stepping into great opportunities for them and great demonstration of the depth of talent at Contis, Perlika says. Both Olivia and Vanessa are really great executives with a lot of potential and I look forward to seeing them thrive and succeed. Ms. Perlika will take a three-month break after Contis and join A2 in July with the market darling having enjoyed a 307% share price rise in 12 months. She admits with a laugh that of course she watches the A2 share price but says our investors see the world of possibilities in A2 and it'll be our job to deliver on that. Before then, there is seeing through her first Australian Open as president, having joined the board in 2016 after the controversial departure of three directors during a period of instability that also included an ASIC investigation in the sport's last broadcast rights deal with Seven West Media that was not put to tender to the wider market. That deal will expire in 12 months and Ms. Herlicka says the rights will go to tender. We have very good governance across all the aspects of Tennis Australia and that will see us into a position where we have a competitive process and we will expect a great outcome through that process. More widely, she wants to build better connections between the elite and lower levels. We as a family have played at 68 different courts around Australia in competition so we have seen the grassroots. We have to keep people engaged and involved. We are working hard to ensure we are relevant for the next generation of athletic talent that is coming through and the next generation of fans as well.